Hey family, welcome to A Hunter House. In today's video, we are doing a brunch tea party. I am having a couple of my girls over and we're gonna have a nice relaxing tea party on our outdoor patio. So I'm gonna show you how I put that together. If you don't, haven't seen it already, I also have an indoor brunch video on my channel. I'll leave a link to that somewhere above here but today we're doing it outside because it's now spring so let me show you how we put it together if you haven't done so already please subscribe to this channel below for more home decor outdoor decor diy and home inspiration videos and go ahead and like this video leave a comment down below and tell me what you think and without further ado let's jump into the video okay i want to show you what i am using so i bought these saucer plates from Hobby Lobby. My theme is pink and girly because it's just us girls. I also got these dusty pink linen napkins as well as these white ones because I love a good like pattern, not using all the same stuff. So I got those from Hobby Lobby as well. As well as these tower serving trays. I was gonna get plastic disposable ones, but these were half off. Yeah, they were ha they were fifty percent off at Hobby Lobby, um, and they are like the real metal ones. So I was like, why would I buy plastic ones? It's going to cost around the same when I can just get real ones that I can reuse over and over again for different um, displays and events and stuff like that. So it's going to be three of us, and because of COVID, I thought that it would be good if we each had our own tray, so we didn't have to share. So. Um, I am doing each of these different because we all have the different diets. So I am going to make a serving tray for each person based on their dietary preferences. And I also got these pretty pink vases from Hobby Lobby as well. Clearly I love Hobby Lobby. Um, and this is just for table decor as well as these pretty baskets. I thought it would be a really cute space spring theme if I created some type of arrangement with these for the table. I think it'll be really cute. And lastly, I have glass, um, these these glass tea cups. I got these from Amazon. I'll leave a link to those in the description box as well. Um, I thought that it would be, uh, it'll make the table look light with like the clear, uh, the clear glass um, tea cups and saucers because I just like the way it looks. I think it looks modern. What is this thing? As well as this glass tea kettle. So yeah, I'm gonna use all of those things as well as uh, my gold flatware for the table. And yeah, so now I'm gonna just uh, wash the dishes here before I start to actually build out our serving trays. For food, you can do whatever you want, but typical tea party food are finger foods, light foods that pair well with teas. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now. When it came crashing down, all I know is that I need you around. When it comes crashing down, all I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone. For the best tea experience, I recommend using loose tea. It provides the best drinking experience, the most flavor. You don't even need to add anything to it. I'll leave the tea that we use in the description box below, which is oolong. But depending on how many people you want to host for your tea party, it may be easier based on taste preferences to use tea bags and to just heat up water.
And here is how everything turned out. It was a lovely Sunday afternoon and we enjoyed ourselves so much. So if you are thinking about doing this, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that this video gave you some inspiration. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to this channel and also give this video a like and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And until next time, love star.